President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. L'audience est ouverte. Before we proceed to the counsel for Et the accused person, the chamber would like uh, to ask question to the international co prosecutor concerning the document. A une question à poser au co-procureur international concernant the prosecutor document. would like uh, to give to the witness whether the whether the document has already been managed to send through Wesu unit to him or not. And also, please uh, indicate the name of the individual in the document, whether she was actually the spouse of this witness, and also the Dans ce date était when she entered as 21 and the exit uh, date as well, if you can, please. Mr. President, if I can please answer those le questions in turn. Firstly, there has been contact with Wesu over the luncheon adjournment. The document I had, as Mr. President, you know, was the revised S21 prisoner list, but it was felt that the original document should be found in command, Khmer, and so um, efforts would be made uh, over the luncheon adjournment to find that document. Uh, when I left about 20 minutes ago, it hadn't yet been located, but there are people working on this, Mr. President, now, so that the original document, we hope, can be obtained and be available for Mr. Kim Vun, I hope, at the close of proceedings um, this afternoon. Mr. President, to answer your um, second question, the document shows in terms of the name a female, Chim Nari, alias Poan, P-H-O-A-N, the wife of Choam, a combatant of K-25 office, and it states that the arrest was from the Ministry of Propaganda and Education, and the date of that was the 1st of May 1978, and then the other relevant date that you asked about, the 27th of May 1978. Does that answer, Mr. President, please, all of those questions? Response. Yes, it does. Thank you. Le président, oui, merci. Next, uh, may I know whether judges of the bench would like uh, to put any questions to the witness. Judge uh, Laveagne, you may now proceed. Monsieur le juge Laveagne, Oui, merci, Monsieur yes, le thank you, Mr. President. Bonjour, Monsieur Good le afternoon, witness. I have a few questions to, to put to you to clarify a certain, de vos a certain number of your statements. Hier, lors Yesterday, de votre déposition, when you testified, you said that when radio front the radio of the front Bévin, was installed at B20, avant la chute de that Pen, is to say before the fall of Phnom Penh, the declarations of Monsieur Phnom Penh De me, pardon, les déclarations de M. Kiosampan, Kiosampan's statements qui étaient diffusées sur la radio, radio étaient certainement écrites avec la participation du prince Norodom Sihanouk. En tous les cas, vous avez dit que ça ne pouvait pas être le résultat de... His statement Le seul résultat de l'écriture par M. Kiosampan. Est-ce que vous souvenez d'avoir dit ça Do you remember having said that Response. Yes, I do, Your Honor. Oui, je m'en souviens, Monsieur le Juge. 
Alors, vous avez... So, euh, Est-ce que vous avez été le témoin, monsieur, de, de communication particulière entre M. Kyusampan et, et le prince Nordomsanouk à cette époque uh, Ou est-ce que vous avez des informations particulières qui vous permettent d'appuyer uh, cette affirmation ou est-ce que c'est une simple or déduction, a simple voire une spéculation de or votre even part a speculation, uh, coming from you. Response. I was talking about this because that was my analysis back during that time on the situation. Concernant cette situation. Et j'entends bien que ce soit votre analyse, of course, monsieur, I mais ce que je veux savoir, c'est si cette analyse se fonde sur des éléments d'information particuliers. Est-ce que vous avez été le témoin de communication entre M. Kyusampan kind of communication et le prince Sihanouk Sihanouk. Est-ce que vous savez you know des choses qui seraient utiles de savoir may be useful to know? Ou est-ce que c'est simplement Or une déduction simply, uh, sans plus d'analyse uh, Response. During the period of the funk, Pendant the funk was chaired funk, by Prince Norodom Sihanouk. And at that time, I still stand by what I analyzed. Et pour ce y a de cette And époque, uh, je mon analyse, whether I saw Prince Norodom Sihanouk and Kyusom si Pan um, made the decision jointly or not, uh, I do not know. I just felt at that time that uh, without any decision made by the top level, then there would never be such statement being broadcast. Les déclarations qui étaient diffusées devaient forcément provenir d'une décision prise au plus haut niveau. Alors, ce matin, vous avez well, fait part également d'un autre you sentiment. Spoke about vous avez indiqué que, selon vous, les discours de M. Kusampan, qui avaient été diffusés cette fois-ci pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique, c'est-à-dire après la chute de Phnom Penh, n'avaient sans doute pas été rédigés par M. Kusampan tout seul. Et vous avez d'ailleurs indiqué que you even said vous pouviez préciser cela parce que, could à votre, dans this votre souvenir, because as far as you remember, en ce qui concerne les discours écrits par M. Kyusampan pendant la période du front, ceci the of the était écrit front, en utilisant des phrases longues. That Kyusampan used long, uh, that the Alors, speeches have been written with long sentences. Le seul élément Is that qui the only vient element à l'appui de votre uh, analyse, le, la longueur des phrases, analysis, ou est-ce que vous avez d'autres éléments qui pourraient permettre de comprendre pourquoi vous considérez que M. Kyusampan n'a pas pu écrire seul ses discours was, did not write these speeches on his own. My statement will not be different from that I gave previously. Ce que je vais dire maintenant sera différent de la déclaration que j'ai faite précédemment. Est-ce que vous voulez ajouter quelque chose Parce que je n'ai pas très bien compris si vous vouliez ajouter quelque chose de différent par rapport à ce que vous avez dit ce matin ou si vous vous en tenez à ce que vous avez dit ce matin ou si vous vous en tenez à ce que vous avez dit ce matin. Réponse. I still stand by my position that Mr. Kilsompon alone could never be making the statement, and that Monsieur was part of my analysis. Pu faire ses déclarations seul. Ça, mon analyse. Monsieur le témoin, vous avez Witness, également été entendu par les, euh, les enquêteurs des causes d'instruction. Je vais essayer de résumer so ce que vous avez dit concernant M. Kyusampan. 
vous l'avez comparé à un éléphant to an elephant, handicapé, to a un éléphant elephant, sans jambes an elephant without legs, ou sans force dans les jambes. Or without any strength in his legs. Vous avez également And indiqué que M. Kessampan était perçu comme étant une victime. As a victim. Précisant d'ailleurs que c'était la perception qu'on pouvait en avoir that that tant à l'époque du régime de, 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 de Prince Norodom Sianouk qu'à l'époque du Sianouk, Front et même well pendant la période de Kampuchea démocratique. Vous avez également ajouté que selon added, vous, c'était un homme to you, He was a man who never had, never enjoyed real power. Et si j'ai bien compris And if aussi, I understood properly, you specified que le rôle de that Kusampan's role during the period of democratic Kampuchea consisted essentially in supervising transport vers les bases. supplying to the bases à accueillir and les chefs d'État étrangers to receive Uh, foreign dignitaries, à accompagner to le prince Norodom Sihanouk et son Nordom épouse Sianouk lorsque ceux-ci visitaient la campagne. Alors, est-ce que j'ai bien so, résumé ce que vous avez voulu you dire au juge d'instruction ou est-ce que je me suis trompé OCIJ, or am I mistaken? Response, that is, Your Honor, the full accurate passage of what I stated. It's a resume complete of what I've said to the judge instruction. So, there are some questions for this to understand. So, well, then I have a few questions to try to understand if this is a feeling or if this is some kind of analysis that you drew and what this analysis is based on. You said that you met Kusampan when you were traveling quand vous alliez faire des reportages à la campagne. When you were, uh, writing stories vous l'avez rencontré très souvent, M. Kessampan, ou il me semblait entendre ce matin que vous l'avez rencontré uh, une fois. À combien de reprises vous l'avez rencontré 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 only on one occasion. I did not meet him face to face. It was when I went to take some photographs in the bases and I talked to my colleagues who told me that uh, Kyosun Pan was uh, in a vehicle with some like fine note. I noted the vehicle and I believed that uh, it was him in that vehicle. So I can say for sure that I never met him face to face or in person. Donc, vous ne l'avez jamais so, rencontré en personne. You never met him vous n'avez jamais discuté avec lui de son rôle. Spoke to him about his role. Il n'a jamais été votre and supérieur. He never was your superior n'a jamais vérifié votre travail He never ce que vous avez dit ce matin. I think this is what you said to us this morning. Est-ce que vous avez eu accès à des informations so sur le rôle de monsieur Kusampan à euh, dans des bureaux qui s'appellent K1 For example, K3. in an office called K1, K3, que vous avez des informations you have sur any le fonctionnement du bureau 870 on the operations of office 870? Response. At that time, I did not know where the leaders could have been working. I knew only about what happened at my ministry. Est-ce que vous avez eu des informations Did particulières sur les relations existantes entre M. Kusampan, Yeng Pot, Yeng Sari, Pol Pot, Pol Pot Nguyen Chia, Yeng Tirit, Yeng Tirit Son Sen, Son Sen. Est-ce que vous savez qui you know participait aux réunions du comité permanent Est-ce que vous savez qui participait aux réunions du comité permanent I was not authorized to understand anything about the roles or the function of the leaders. Les les 
Yeah. Alors, je vous Fine. repose la question so, de façon générale. Est-ce que vous again, avez in a more des éléments d'information, so, d'autres informations or other qui vous permettent d'étayer votre analyse selon laquelle M. Kyosampan était un homme qui n'a jamais eu de réel pouvoir Qu'est-ce qui vous permet d'affirmer cela Response. I may wish to raise this for consideration. I had been in the resistance for several years. After the Khmer Rouge collapsed, I came back to Cambodia. And in this capacity, I, ha I know for sure Je suis au what Cambodge. happened. Et so my belief was that uh, Mr. Kilson Pond did never enjoy power. Et he donc, did not possess any assets. And to be more precise, Mr. Kilson Pond should be asked now to shed light on this. Uh, être plus précis, uh, il faudrait demander à Monsieur Kilson Pond. Bien, on va passer Fine. à notre sujet, okay, Monsieur le témoin, concernant cette fois-ci le rôle de Monsieur Nunchea. Vous en avez parlé très And brièvement ce matin, vous en, a, vous en aviez parlé morning. également you devant les, les enquêteurs des coups d'instruction, et vous aviez dit devant les coups d'instruction que that, uh, Monsieur Nunchea était venu diriger le ministère de l'Information, de l'Éducation et de la Radiodiffusion, Uh, Ministry of Information, après, Education uh, and Radio chute, after after de Wunim, the arrest of Mr. Hunim and after Yuniat Yuniat ait, uh, the two ministers, Information and Ministry of Education. Took charge of both matin, ministries, Ministry of Education réalité, and Information. And this morning, he told us that Nunchea only si came compris. on an intermittent basis. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous so en dire un peu plus sur ce que faisait Monsieur Nunchea au ministère de la propagande et de l'éducation? Response. Actually, Mr. Nguyen Chia had a role en fait, in Nguyen the Chia education program. The education program was on agriculture. He brought a thick book by the Chinese experts in which he quoted one page at a time for the education purpose. That's what I learned back pédagogie. then. And with regard to other documents, I do not know how the communication took place. The only thing I knew about his new role was involving the agricultural aspect. And I still recall the thick book Je by the Chinese expert on the rice uh, techniques in growing rice, and it was part of the education uh, um, purpose. Était à but pédagogique. Est-ce que Monsieur Nunchia est venu simplement Did faire Nunchia des formations pour donner des informations sur les problèmes agricoles? To provide Ou information il avait également un rôle de, issues, euh, de contrôle des subordonnés, de la façon dont le travail s'effectuait, des the informations qui étaient diffusées à la radio kind of Est-ce qu'il a remplacé Mme Yuniat Ou est-ce qu'il est venu Yuniat, simplement come, en plus de Mme Yuniat uh, fundamental program was the new education on agriculture. And de la I have no other knowledge of his involvement in other section uh, in writing in particular because I had been transferred to the Cambodia Crown radio section. 
when Mr. Nguyen was assigned to the propaganda de la radio department. De he only came most often when Yun Yat was not present. La plupart du temps, il ne venait que lorsque Yun Yat était absent. Est-ce que vous savez s'il existait des liens entre le ministère de l'Information et de la Propagande et le ministère des Affaires étrangères Est-ce que, par exemple, il arrivait que des documents pour le ministère des Affaires étrangères aient été imprimés dans les bureaux du ministère de l'Information et de la Propagande Were the of the Ministry of Information and Propaganda, for example Response. So far as I remember, there were not a, a, a lot of documents relevant to this. For the Khmer radio broadcast, there would be the Khmer statement. And sometimes we were given some documents to be read. And also a foreign language program il y avait aussi uh, on the radio. Et est-ce que vous vous souvenez de la diffusion de discours uh, fait par uh, Monsieur uh, Yang Sari, uh, speeches by Yang Sari be, or by Nguyen Chia being broadcast? Response. With regard to all the radio programs, I focused mainly on the assigned task for me in particular, and I had paid no attention to other programs, and I had nothing to know about that or those statements. For this kind of declaration, I didn't know anything. Est-ce qu'à la période du front, c'est-à-dire avant le 17 août 1975, vous avez eu l'occasion de rencontrer M. Ouyoun Est-ce que M. Ouyoun a travaillé pour le service d'information Réponse. M. Ouyoun, to my best of knowledge, was the minister in charge of rural development or reform at cooperatives. But I have no idea or I have no knowledge of uh, his other roles. Donc vous n'avez pas eu de contact so particulier avec lui à ce moment-là. you moment never had any kind of contact with him back then, is that so? Response. I had uh, never contacted uh, with him. Je eu de I contact avec lui. met him on Je some occasions just to chit chat with him. À quelques occasions I also cut propos. his hair. I cut the Je hair for for people during that time, for Sydney people, Je including Mr. Kiel Sampan. Mr. Hu Yun was uh, at times uh, allowed me to Parfois, cut his Monsieur hair Yun because I was a good barber. Et vous savez ce qui est, ce qui est devenu M. Hu Yun après le 17 août 1975 Response. No, I have no information no. about him. Je but at B20, I used to meet him prior to 1975, but not after that. Let us talk about another subject. It has to do with the si j'ai bien compris, vous avez indiqué que c'était vous qui étiez en charge magazine, de la préparation et de l'impression de cette revue. Est-ce que c'est bien exact? Of the preparation and publication of that magazine, is that the case? 
Response, no, it isn't. Réponse, non, c'est inexact. Alors, quel était votre rôle au regard de la revue so, Jeunesse Révolutionnaire Qu'est-ce que vous faisiez exactement What was your role regarding the, youth, the Revolutionary Youth magazine What did you do precisely Response. Please allow me to clarify on this. At the printing house, we printed three magazines. The Revolutionary Flag magazines, the Front magazines. As for the youth magazines uh, were printed at a later Les date. They were printed in 1972 or 1973, so far as I remember, because I had never seen the documents uh, before. I only came to know this document at S31, or rather Office 31. So these uh, th magazines could have been printed at a later date uh, for the purpose pers of publicizing information uh, to inform the Youth League group. Est-ce que vous savez qui a rédigé les articles pour euh, you la revue who Jeunesse Révolutionnaire articles for the Revolutionary Youth magazine? To my knowledge, in the initial inception, Madame Jun, Jun Jan début, was the one who wrote Yun article in Yat that magazine. Qui rédigeait les articles de ce magazine. Alors, pour être plus précis, vous avez dit devant les cours d'instruction, c'est Yunyat qui rédigeait les articles avec, avec l'aide de mon équipe. Est-ce que ça correspond à la vérité Vous aviez une équipe qui, qui aidait à la, à, la, à la rédaction de ces articles Yes, yes, it does. Oui. But it was not uh, within the funk, but it was. Mais pas dans le cadre du funk. Let. It was not uh, within the funk, but it was uh, in the Democratic Cambodia period. Mais and my wife was an assistant uh, to her as well. And of course, uh, the minister also had uh, other assistants as well in order to assist. Um, but as for short news, uh, I and my team also assisted. Pour ce qui est de la rédaction des brèves informations, mon équipe également a porté son concours. À quel public? était destinée directement la revue Jeunesse Révolutionnaire. What was the target à partir de quel âge pouvait-on lire cette revue of that revolutionary youth magazine. As of what age were you supposed to read that magazine? As a matter of fact, if anyone wanted to join the Jewish League, they had to be at the age of 18 at least. So if uh, they reached uh, the age of 18, they can join the Jews League, ans. and then they were also allowed uh, to uh, read uh, the uh, Jews uh, magazine. They could read the Jeunesse Révolutionnaire. The revue Jeunesse Révolutionnaire had a vision Idéologique. The Revolutionary Youth Magazine que, euh, had an ideological objectif de susciter la colère Did des, it uh, also have jeunes, another objective to rouse the la haine des jeunes or the hatred contre les ennemis de classe of the youths against et à les inciter éventuellement à anéantir les ennemis de la nation to et ce complètement jusqu'à extinction. The nation and to do so completely up until the publication qui allait dans ce sens là. 
extinguished or decimated. Was that one of the visions of that magazine? I did not understand it uh, any better. But at that time, what I understood was that the Communist Party of Cambodia considered the youth league as the close aid of the party. So anyone who était l'auxiliaire uh, direct du parti. Were in the youth league, uh, they had to be at the forefront. They were the vanguard forces of the uh, party. And this particular youth organization were politically indoctrinated in a more intensive manner compared to ordinary youth. En général. Et est-ce que cet endoctrinement allait jusqu'à susciter la colère did such contre les ennemis go as far as arousing anger against the enemies? As for the enemy, actually, we did not consider everyone. Uh, or our enemy as enemy per se, but uh, we could sometimes consider them as our soi. friends as well. Parfois, we did not hold the absolute standpoint. For example, if we were unsure exemple, whether or not they si were the real enemies of us or not, then we had some non, reservation uh, for ourselves. At that time, we were instructed to analyze the strengths and weaknesses of those people. For example, they gens. may identify a certain group of people Par as exemple, enemies, but there were only a few leaders. Comme étant des ennemis, uh, mais il y avait que quelques meneurs. During the war time, Pendant la période de guerre, they only single out the ring leaders of the coup d'état that was uh, plotted, and we considered those leaders as the enemies. Ces meneurs comme des ennemis. If we uh, discuss the front, the front comprised of all front, the nationalist movements at the time. So as for the spurring of the anger, Among youth de was not à la done spontaneously, jeunesse, but it was cela planned pas spontané, very well. Très bien Est-ce que vous souvenez, Monsieur, d'une poème, parce que c'est le nom qui lui est donné, d'un poème qui a été publié dans la revue numéro 10 d'octobre 1975 de la revue La Jeunesse Révolutionnaire. Il s'agit du numéro E3-729, ERN en Khmer 00-63-432-433. ERN français 00 36 42 50 à 51, ERN en anglais 00 35 79 29 à 30. Alors est-ce que vous vous souvenez d'un poème qui porte le titre « N'oubliez pas la colère sanglante de nos ascendants révolutionnaires » I could have heard of this poem, but uh, I do not recall it now. Peut-être que j'ai entendu parler de ce poème, mais je ne m'en souviens pas. Bien, dans ce cas, je n'aurai pas d'autres questions à vous poser, Monsieur Tim. Moi, je vous remercie pour votre coopération. I have no further questions for you, then, witness. I thank you for your cooperation. The President, thank you, Judge. Merci, Monsieur le Juge. Now I hand over to the defense team for Mr. Q. Sampon to put the question to the witness before the other two defense teams. You may proceed. Counsel 
Kung Samon. Thank you, Mr. President. Maître good Kung afternoon, Samon. Your Honours, and Merci. good afternoon, Mr. Kim Won. My name is Kung Samon. I am the National Defence Council for Mr. Kim Samon. I have a few questions uh, to ask you, and I look forward to your cooperation in responding to the question I'm going to put to you. Thank you. Over the last couple of days, you had spent a lot of efforts and time to respond to the question concerning the roles of Mr. Kyu Sampong and what you uh, testify before the chamber in response to the question by the prosecution, the civil party lawyers, as well as Judge Lavenge. I would like to ask a few more questions in order to clarify the point so that the chambers will be enlightened by the points so that the chamber will have the basis for their decision in relation to our client. First, I would like to begin with the um, scope of authority of Mr. Kyu Sampon. Are the parties uh, did put questions to you, and you made an analogy in comparing Comparing Mr. Kilsimpon's authority, you, by way of uh, analogy, you said Mr. Kilsimpon's role was like the elephant which does not have its legs. And the defense team for Mr. Kilsimpon would like to ask you to uh, bring up certain uh, documents to. Um, Vous demande collaborate your testimony. Cette description. So long. Now I would like to begin my questions with uh, your uh, childhood. When Tout des you were sur votre a child in 1967 or so, you had your uh, brother who was a civil servant, Votre frère uh, and your brother uh, once uh, told you the story about Mr. Uh, Kyu Sampon. Did you ever tell that uh, to the investigator of the co-investigating judges about that? Aux enquêteurs des bureaux des coaches d'instruction No, at that time I did not uh, touch upon non, the story concerning Mr. Kilson Pond then, then but I do Kilsen recall the story my uh, brother told me when I was young. I was still a uh, young kid at that time, he told me about the story. Question. Can Question? you tell the court how old were you Quel then? Âge -vous à the President, witness, please hold Le on. The mic is not yet activated, so please uh, just wait. Response. At the time, I, à to, I cannot recall it very well, but it uh, was when I uh, was around four or five years old. At that time, um, Mr. Kilson Pond was in Phnom Penh, and I think that the story he told Penh, and the um, surmise he had with Mr. Kilsenpon was correct. Et je pense que l'histoire qui m'a été racontée sur Kilsenpon était correcte. But don't be could not track you but so counsel for a record I would La like défense. to now read out document D201/10.1. Uh, Malheureusement, l'interprète n'a pas entendu le début de l'intervention car le micro n'était pas allumé. Une cote a été donnée. Since uh, there was no translation, as far as I was défense, told, so I would like to read out the document number again. Apparemment, il n'y a pas eu de traduction. Je vais redonner lecture de la cote. In the transcript of your interview by the investigator of the Office of Co-Investigating Judges, document D, 201-10.1, D201-10.1, Khmer IAN 00, 83-3791, English 
French 00-83-57-38-239. In that interview, Au cours de cette audition, you told the investigator, and it was recorded, it was audio recorded, Il y a eu un enregistrement but it was not sonore, actually transcribed in your vous avez dit quelque chose qui ne se retrouve pas a record of interview and I would like to read it out Je en your lecture. written record of interview Je vais I, lire there le PV were two points in this uh, written records but I would like to uh, it, they were in different places but I would like to read it out. You said, while I was with him Vous during the National United Front era, I never saw Funk, him have any power. Je jamais il avait du and that was why I said that although he was a big elephant, he was like an elephant with a broken leg, an elephant that had no power. In this regard, I knew the background of Mr. Kilsimpon, had studied and had heard brothers tell stories in 1967, 68, because my siblings were also government workers in Phnom Penh. They often talked about Kiu Sampon. In those days, speaking about the Sihanouk authorities, Kiu Sampon was seen as a victim. À l'époque de Sihanouk, Kiu Sampon était vu comme une victime. Do you recall saying this in front of the investigator? Vous vous dit ça, vous but some thought I said. Sorry, I have to pause because I have to ensure that uh, the uh, my version of the question is properly rendered. Je vais uh, so que ce que you may respond then. Traduit. Voilà. Allez-y. Do you recall saying this before the investigator Donc, of the vous OCIJ? Vous avoir dit ça aux enquêteurs the president. Du Witness, uh, please uh, observe BCG. the uh, red light on your mic. Témoin, Make sure that it is on before uh, you speak. Otherwise, your voice will not get through Sinon, the sound system. And so the interpretation cannot be rendered. Yes, I do. Oui. Thank you. Question. Merci. Can you recall the stories told by your vous brothers in relation to Mr. Kyusampan back then? Que vous a raconté votre frère sur à when my brother Sim told me about the stories, uh, I listened Sim to him, but I was still very young. Écouté, of course, he went to study in jeune. Phnom Penh. Il he told us the stories about Kyusampan. To my recollection, he told me souvenir, that Mr. Kyusampan was actually a senior government official. However, in his everyday life, he Mais was not seen as someone who lived a good life. He would ride bicycle like other ordinary, ordinary citizens as well. Vélo, it was not like, he was not like other senior government officials. But I was very young at that time. Mais I could not recall jeune. everything. Je I could only uh, imagine it through my intuition. And Je ne que cela to and Till now, I could simply recall it, uh, jour, part of it. Je ne and then he partiellement. once told me that uh, Kyusampon would one day become the uh, president of the country, and I did not understand, since I was young, uh, what the president did at that time. But uh, that's what I can recall from what he told me uh, back then. And in addition, he also told me about outre, the mistreatment inflicted on Mr. Kilsimpon by other civil servants, and he was viewed as someone who resisted against uh, that mistreatment. And at, 
in the region where I resided uh, were also known that uh, there were presence of Khmer Rouge uh, as well. Y avait des and I did not know why présent. they mistreated him because he was uh, engaged or involved in the resistance forces or so I did not know. I was very young, I did not pay jeune. much attention as je to who was who at that time. It was only uh, up to my uh, recollection qui. and it was uh, based on my uh, pure uh, recollection of that and I did not know the intention of the uh, situation or the storytelling then. Question. Thank you. Concerning your age in document E3 slash 380, which is the record of interview, you said that you was born in 1959. Is this your genuine date of birth or it was the um, fake one? Well, during the revolutionary era, we uh, could use a different name when we changed the place of our domicile. And nous we could also change our date of birth as well. But I did not change, I maintained my date of birth ever since. Particularly with Brother Vaughan to the North Zone. Thank you. Question. So if you were born in 1959, the story told by your brother in 1968 or 69, then, back then you were about 10 or 11 years of age, is that correct? Council, can you please repeat your answer? Response, yes, it could have been between that age range. Oui, je devais avoir cet âge-là, environ. Thank you. Question. Now I would like to ask you about Mr. Kilsum Pond, you once said uh, that you met with Mr. Kilsum Pond in the jungle, in an office in the jungle, um, before 1975. So my question is, how long did you work in that printing house in the forest, and how often did you see Mr. Kyosampan? It was in 1971, to my recollection. He did 1971. not uh, go to my workplace that often because most of the documents were brought to us through messengers. But later on, Mais plus tard, we wanted to expand this printing house, and in addition, we had to prepare for a radio broadcast plus, as well. So the, uh, the personnel over there was uh, expanded, place, so it became an office over there. There were cadres who worked bureau, uh, for the front there, and the numbers kept increasing. And I could say that uh, in that period, we stayed uh, uh, together période, in that office. Nous dans ce but I did not know the exact number Mais of cadres who were working there. I do not recall the, the, the exact je numbers me pas du of exact. them, but I can recall that Mais there was the presence of Mr. Kyosun Pond there too. Thank you. Question. 
Can you recollect the entire period of time you stay in that office with Mr. Kim Sung Pon? How long did it last? Uh, how many months or years or so? The President, witness, uh, please uh, be reminded that uh, you uh, wait until you see the red light is on before you respond. Response. I do not recall how long I stayed there uh, with him, but I only recall that uh, he was there at the time. Thank you. How did you recognize Mr. Kyu Sampon from 1971 when you were working in that office in the forest. How did you recognize Mr. Kyu Sampon? À partir de 1971, quand je travaillais dans ce bureau dans la forêt. Response. Before I did not recognize him because I did not know uh, what Mr. Kyu Sampon looked like, but I learned that he was a former professor and he was an intellectual, and my friends told me that, and I asked, one day I asked my colleagues who was the gentleman who had a white complexion uh, and looked like Chinese, and at that time uh, I thought that he was someone from uh, Hanoi, uh, and brother Lim, brother, other brothers were from Hanoi. At that time, I did, not, uh, uh, I did not have any idea about him. I thought that Mr. Kim Sun was also from Hanoi. But later on, my friends told me that that was Mr. Kim Sun Pong. He was educated in France, and he returned from France. And at that time, over there, we also used some French language as well. That's why I uh, got to know him from there. But he had, he had never introduced himself to others that he was Kim Sun Pong. He was told by our superior, and we just told, uh, we just asked whether or not uh, he was from the Et northern part of the country or he was from somewhere else because uh, he had fair com complexion. And they told us that he was uh, a person who came from the northern part of the country. Thank you. Question. When you learn that a man was killed some pawn, Quand vous avez appris what was your impression of him? Qu'il s'agissait de Kyo Sampan, quelle impression avez-vous eu de lui? When I was uh, there with him, Quand I tried to observe his lui, personality. D'observer sa personnalité. I heard from others who talk a lot about his background. Uh, he had endured a lot of struggles in life, and at his age, uh, he was supposed to have family, uh, but he did not. So I learned from him. And voilà ce que I appris. was happy because there was intellectuals among us, parce y avait parmi nous des and when there was a coup d'etat, we had to Et join force with them. Actually, I was influenced very much by uh, some like O. Oh, when I first joined the revolution, it was because of the influence by some like oh. influence de So other cadres talked to each other at that time that uh, we had to work with those intellectuals in order to strengthen our motivation. Personality wide, he was Sur le a person who de sa personnalité, was arrogant. He was the one who liked to encourage other people. He talked to other people very il friendly, particularly those who were younger gens, than him. And if he worked in his office, he got bored, he would leave jeunes, the office and then walk back and forth saying things to other people. Et quand and il quittait son bureau, I look up to his model because it was at his age and he did not get married. I could not do as well as he did. Lui, à son âge, n'était pas encore marié, et moi, je ne pouvais pas faire la même chose. Excusez-moi, Monsieur le Président, si vous me permettez. Uh, President, en me. français, nous avons In entendu French, dans le heard. début de la réponse du témoin 
que M. Kusampan était quelqu'un d'arrogant. Je voudrais savoir s'il n'y a pas eu une erreur de traduction et faire préciser cela au témoin, parce que ça ne va pas avec la suite de sa réponse. Mais il faut voir pour l'anglais et le français. บ่เอ่อสมรู้นึกว่าที่ภาษาบรังหรือถ้าโลกชลายทาโลกคือสมพรที่มนุษย์เฉลยแต่โลกบ้านชลายอยู่จริงๆเหมือนเดิมเช่
I would like uh, to also ask you concerning the wordings of Mr. Kilson Pon. Did he ever use words of violent nature? For example, asked you to use forces or violence in doing things. A character violent. Vous a-t-il demandé d'avoir recours à la violence, par exemple? I have never heard or were never told things like that. At the beginning, we learned the twelve points morality. And when I was a pagoda boy, I also was familiar with this, and indeed, if we could follow this 12 point uh, morality, we would become a very good person. We were always referred to this 12 points morality by him. Lui, in the 12 point moralities, uh, principles including refraining from stealing, entre autres, uh, ne pas voler. combatant was were expected not to steal things, even Les combattants ne devaient pas voler. a grain of rice or a chili. So that was part of the education and encouragement um, sessions uh, des by Mr. Kilsenpon. Uh, Council, thank you. La Défense, merci. In respect of your recognition of Mr. Kilsenpon's writing, handwriting, and you went further to say that you even recognized uh, the text that could have been, or that perhaps uh, have been written by Mr. Kilsenpon. Just now, Judge Lavergne asked you the question concerning the long sentences, the paragraph that observe very few periods. So my question here is, how could you recognize that uh, those texts were written by Kyosun Pan? Or I can put it this way. Apart from noting the long sentences that you believe could have been written by Kyosun Pan, did you have any other observation or elements to uh, help you recognize his style of writing. Y avait-il d'autres éléments vous permettant de reconnaître l'écriture du Kyosampan? Response. Among the leaders Réponse. of the front, Mr. Kyosampan is rather front, unique. Monsieur Mr. Hunam and Tiu all had a different Hunum writing style. Individually, avait des écritures, uh, the Bok Koma also had his own writing style. All Koma intellectuals had a different différent. and Chacun unique writing style. Différemment, avec un style unique. Council, thank you. La Défense, merci. Now, in the same context, uh, the texts you saw, context, were they read, handwritten texts or printed materials? Response. Response. When I was with him, I noted that he normally lui, wrote by hands, and his sentences were longer than those of the others, and the paragraph normally ended uh, with uh, very few periods or without a full stop. So this point happened in the statement, and 
When it came to speeches that had to be broadcast on radio, I noted that the speeches were written of shorter sentences, and by that, I believed that it could have never been written alone by Mr. Kilson Pond because I got used to his style of writing already. Council, thank you. Merci. I now would like uh, to ask you a question concerning the period uh, after 1975, between 1975 and 1979. Indeed, this question relates to the event in the aftermath of the immediate uh, victory of the Khmer Rouge. Of the 17th of April 1975. You said uh, you saw Mr. Kilson Pon accompanying Prince Norodom Sihanouk at the countryside, and Judge Lavange already asked you the question concerning this. My question here is that, uh, or your testimony was that you met Mr. Kilson Pond by chance. The question is, how did you recognize the person Alors, you saw as Mr. Kilson Pond? Comment avez-vous reconnu cette personne et su que c'était Kilson Pond? Response. I could recognize him easily because I used to be with him. I could distinguish between who would be Kilson Pond, who would be Sambak Ao, and who would uh, be other people who were the children of the former prince. At that time, he was in a weird call but I could not recall whether he was in a jeep. But normally when the king was traveling, the king could be carried, uh, accommodated by in a better vehicle. I did not really talk to him, but after looking or seeing him from the distance, I could tell immediately that he was killed from pawn. The President, uh, thank you, Council. Thank you, Mr. Merci, Witness. Merci, it is now an appropriate moment for an adjournment. The Chamber will adjourn for 20 minutes. Court officer is now instructed to assist uh, the witness during the adjournment and to uh, have him return to the courtroom when we resume by 3 o'clock.